<clears throat> Sorry, I was uh, looking for a cigarette. I've given up. Do you have to be somewhere? Uh, yeah, work. Oh. Uh, didn't fancy my sandwiches? I don't eat fish. Why not? Fish piss in the sea. So do children. I don't eat children either. What's your work? I'm a sort of journalist. What sort? I write obituaries. <laughs> do you like it in the dying business? It's a living. <laughs> Do you think the doctor will come? Eventually. Does it hurt? Oh, I'll live. Shall I put your leg up for you? Why? That's just what people do in these sorts of situations. What is this situation? Uh, do you want me to put your leg up? Yes, please. I've got a mobile. Is there anyone you'd like to phone? I don't know anyone. Thank you for scraping me off the road. My pleasure. You knight. You damsel. Why don't you look? I never look where I'm going. We stood at the light. I looked into your eyes and then you just walked into the road. Then what? You were on the ground. Your eyes focused on me and you said, Hello, stranger. Oh, what a slut. <laughs> That's when I noticed your leg was cut. Did you notice my legs? Uh, quite possibly. Then what? The cabbie got out. He crossed himself. He said, thank fuck, I thought I'd killed her. And I said, well, we should take her to the hospital. He hesitated. I think he thought that'd be paperwork if he was found responsible. So I said, with a slight sneer, will you please just take us to the hospital? Show me the sneer. <laughs> so we put you in the cab and came here. How did you end up writing obituaries? What did you really want to be? Well, I had dreams of being a writer, but I had no voice. What am I saying? I had no talent. So I wound up in the Siberia of journalism. Tell me what you do. I want to imagine you in Siberia. Really? Yes. Well, we call it the Yogurt's page. There's three of us, me, Harry, and Graham. Every day without fail, Graham says, all right, who's on the slab? Are you sure you want to hear about this? Yes. Well, if anyone important has died, then we check the deep freeze, which is just a computer containing all the obituaries, and we find the dead person's life. People's obituaries are written while they're still alive? Uh, some people's. If no one important has died, then Harry, he's the editor, he chooses who we lead with. We'll make a couple calls, check the facts, polish the prose. Anyway, around six every day, we gather on the computer and check the next day's files. We'll add a couple euphemisms to amuse ourselves. <laughs> Such as? He was a convivial fellow, meaning he was an alcoholic. He enjoyed his privacy, gay. He valued his privacy, raging queen. <laughs> and what would your euphemism be? For me? Mm -hmm. He was reserved. And mine? She was disarming. How did you get this job? They ask you to write your own obituary, and if it amuses, you're in.